Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to discuss about a program which is to read a string and copy its contents into another string. So the objective of the program is uh, written in the first statement with the help of comment. Then in second statement, I have included a header file stdio.h for printf and getf function. Then main function is used. It contains various statements in which first is uh, string declaration. So in this program, two strings are declared s1 and s2 s1 uh, is uh, will be read by the user and the contents of s1 will be copied into s2 then integer variable i is declared then printf statement is used it will display message enter a string on console then getS function is used it will uh, store the entered uh, string into s1 then for loop is used uh, this loop will copy contents of s1 into s2 so uh, the copy of uh, string s1 uh, into s2 will be done index by index. So first a loop is initialized with 0. It is checking the condition s1 i not equals to 0. So if this condition is true, then uh, s1 i, uh, the value which is available on s1 of i index will be assigned into uh, s2 of i index. So this loop will repeat till this condition is true means uh, till null character is not available or not uh, found in the string then uh, the contents will be uh, copied into the second string uh, when uh, s1 of i will reach to null character this loop will be terminated remember that uh, null will not be copied into s2 so after completion of uh, for loop we have to explicitly uh, assign null character into s2 that's why it, it will also become a string Without a uh, null character, uh, the character array will not uh, be uh, known as a string. So after assigning null character, this printf uh, statement will be printing copied string on console. And now I am printing s2 uh, string on console. So uh, user will be providing the contents into s1 and I am printing s2. So if s2 will print the contents of s1 then this program is correct otherwise it is incorrect so now i am compiling this code first there are no errors or warnings now i am executing this code so suppose i have entered sanjay so copied string is sanjay it is displaying uh, the input which i have entered so uh, you can say that the program is working properly the contents of s1 are available inside s2 uh, with the help of this for loop so implement this code on your laptop or desktop so that you can also understand the concept of this code uh, these are my details you can call me or you can write any uh, mail uh, regarding any uh, query or problems i will help you out uh, this is my website and this is my app TechMS. you can download this app from google play store uh, this app contains various uh, tutorials regarding C, C++, PHP, Java, ethical hacking, etc. You can also download PPTs from tutorials.techimage.in. You can read various books regarding uh, programming languages. You can watch uh, uh, videos regarding various programming languages by following this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching this video.